Hey everybody, welcome back to Goes to Eleven's Women's Fishing Network. My name is Christine and I'm your Wednesday host. You can find me on Instagram at Christine M. Baines. After watching this video, you should check out our great new website, womensfishingnetwork.com, where you can watch other videos from myself as well as the other hosts and as well as um, blog entries and after that you can check out the online store for our sponsors great products and other cool stuff so I've been driving around looking at river conditions for a couple of different rivers to try and do some salmon fishing I'm not gonna get up to Campbell River again this weekend <laughs> it's a thing I'm just like I don't know life is stopping me anyways so uh, don't go to Qualicum River unless you like combat fishing. There's some decent fish there, but there's so many people. There's so many people. Um, that's not my favorite. So I've checked out a few local, more local to me rivers. Um, didn't really see a lot of fish. It's going to be a little bit, a little bit more of a wait before they hit Mid Island before the fish start hitting Mid Island. Um, so I'm going to grab my float tube and I'm going to go chuck around some big old flies and some big old bait and hopefully get some big old bass in my float tube. Um, yeah, in the rain. It should be fun. It's nice. All this rain is going to create some nice fall river fishing conditions. So I'm really looking forward to it. Stick around and see what we can get into. All right, another change of plans. Um, the Lake Ray bass fish was really, really windy the last time I was there, and it was this windy. I got blown all over the lake like a little cork on the water. So I'm at another lake. It's really small. Hopefully I can get into some trout. Um, at the very least, maybe some pumpkin seed fish. Um, I should have brought my three weight. I need someone to help me gather my gear up before I leave the house because I also forgot my protective shoes to wear when I'm walking in my waders. So, all right, I'm gonna go see what I can get into. In the boat, just got a little tiny black micro leech controlling behind me, heading to the end of the lake. Let's see what I can find. Here's my little tiny micro leech. I might change to, I've had a couple of little nibbles, but nobody took it. I might change to an indicator rig with a coronamid and get it down a little bit lower. See if the fish are down lower. I haven't seen any fish rising, so. Might do that. The scenery around the lake isn't that nice. Everything's kind of burnt to a crisp from the from the dry weather. So I'm gonna give this a few more casts and then I'm gonna switch it up. my chronomid, my not so scientific knowledge of what's hatching around here right now, but you know, I usually manage to catch fish or two, so, but I guess it's time to learn these things. Right 
little bit of a waiting game to see what they want. Blowing against the edges again. Wish I hadn't forgotten my other rod. Mind you, the last time I had two rods in my float tube and I was trying to film, I dropped one of my rods into the bottom of the lake. And when I went back to try and recover it, I couldn't recover it. <laughs> it was my good rod too. I was very sad. Oh, there we go. Hoo hoo. Whoops, sorry. I got a little excited. I popped my bobber. Okay, I've lengthened my leader. It's up to about 10 feet. I've put on a pumpkin head. I will, so this is fly change number <laughs> six or seven. Um, I don't give up. So let's see. I will dangle this under an indicator for a little bit and the water's a little bit choppy, so it's giving it some movement. If this doesn't work, then I will try trolling it a little bit. And I'm not sure what I'll try after that. Stay tuned. It's getting cold out here. It rained a little bit, so I'm a little bit damp. And now it's windy, a bit windy. I've missed two bites, one for sure. The other one, no. It felt like a little tap tap, but. Okay. Oh, a trout. He's trying to get away. On the pumpkin seed. Fly. Where are you? There you go. That wasn't going to happen. <laughs> there you go. Very nice. That was a nice little surprise. It's funny. Um, you fish for a while and you don't catch anything. And then you end up fishing for so long that when you finally do catch one, it totally catches you off guard, surprises you. <laughs> My camera wasn't ready, it was backwards, just, oh, everything was... Nice little surprise though. Nice little fish. Let's see if we can get some more. Float tube casting is a whole thing. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Fish on. Switch to a black leech. Another nice little trout. You see him? Mm. 
don't know if you can see them or not. Got another one. I always start pedaling backwards when I have a fish on. Silly. What is this? Oh, it's a pumpkin seed fish. Decent. All right. Thanks for spending time with me. Um, I managed to get into a couple of little fish, so that was nice. Uh, it's raining. Yay! Everything needs it. The fish need it. The rivers need it. Everything. So it's so good to see. I'm actually going to uh, keep fishing for a couple of minutes, but probably going to put my phone away because uh, it's raining really hard. So I hope you get out and I hope you get into some fish, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.